Okay, so this is game three of three in the Bay versus Tillerman series. We are tied 1 1. The map is no wood. Bay's choice of map. And again, Undead versus Night Elf. So I'm just going to pause at the beginning as usual. Elapsed time 7 seconds, so if you just want to quickly sync up and we can get going. Unpausing now at 7 seconds. Now, so Bay started at 12 o'clock. I have started, at, well, you could call it the bottom right hand position or 4 o'clock. And he has chosen Nolwood as his map. Now, Nolwood, I don't know, I was kind of happy with the choice because there's a lot of opportunities to catch the undead player creeping on Nolwood. Especially early on. So I wasn't too upset, it's just that the later the game goes, the kind of harder it gets for the Night Elf player because all those creeps, man, allows the undead player to get very high level auras if you don't manage to uh, hurt him early. The, the other good thing about this for the Night Elf player is it's kind of hard for the undead player to expand. None of those spots are easy to expand to early for the undead player. And there's absolutely no way I'm going to allow him to expand early. I'm going to keep a good eye on all expansions throughout the game. Realising from that first game how badly I got beat because I let him get that expansion up so easily. So I've got the plan to do a quick expansion as normal for a night elf player. It's very, very difficult for an undead player to stop, no matter if he builds uh, specifically just to stop it. It's very, very tricky for him to do that. Just because of the Ancient of War alone, it will be uh, finished and it will be able to protect the Constructing Tree of Life. You can definitely kill it, but it does mean you kinda, he obviously can't creep, so you kinda lose out here and there. I just can, so I get all my resources back anyway. Well, I lose a small percentage, so. Doesn't really hurt a night elf player too much, even if you do stop it. So demon hunter out, demon hunter rally to outside the shop. This is exactly what you should do as night elf player: go to the shops and try and find those greater healing potions or potions of invulnerability or that type of item, or my favourite item, the wand of lightning. Scroll of town portal. Obviously another great item, it just doesn't have any real beneficial use early on or versus an army. But certainly good later on when you run out of portals. So going to shop to shop, trying to find those great items. Scroll of healing, not the best item for an idol player. Much, much better for an undead player to get that item. I kind of call these set of items uh, mini super items, uh, kind of equivalent to the super items like Restoration Potion, Ink, etc., later in the game. I find these the mini super items of the early game. So, as you can see here, I perfectly timed that to go in and steal his item and then get his Wand of Lightning. Oh, so, I've now got a Wand of Lightning. And now I'm just going to try and pick off maybe a ghoul here or there whilst those gnolls are targeting his ghouls. That's a good thing about facing an undead player is that all creeps automatically target ghouls first. Ooh, demon hunter close to dying. Being brave here, I'm not portaling. Uh, that kind of shows you're not a real man if you portal. You've got to outgun your opponent here, you've got to run, make him chase you, be brave, I'm being brave, even though he's got the aura, run into the alien fountain, oh he gets another hit, and being brave, not using the portal, running around and that's it, you can't kill me now. So very frustrating for Bay there, but it pays off entirely for me, because I have to run home from healing anyway, and he could be out creeping. So I win that little kind of mental game there. It's always good if you win those kind of early mental games. Uh, a lot of people underestimate the kind of psychology in games like Warcraft 3. So, expanding here, Tree of Life, Ancient of War, running home from healing.
and a very slow hunter's hole there for me so that's a mistake that hunter's hole should have been started much earlier so I could start my lures so the tree of life as you can see I ate a tree straight away even though it's full health it still benefits you when it first gets attacked as you can see the tree of life is healing Keep of the Grove, my whole game plan is going to be based around trying to intercept bait whilst he's creeping. That's exactly what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and hurt him as much as I can at this point in the game. And as you can see, I've got a wisp just outside where he is now. He's going to creep those nose. As you can see, there's a wisp there. And so I know exactly where he is. I'm going to detonate him. He had 95 mana, he's now got none, so he doesn't have a coil anymore. And I'm now going to head up towards him. I'm just going to send my Demon Hunter home to heal and send my Key for the Grove towards it and cast and tangle. He's going to screw up pretty bad here. I can understand his thinking here because he's got me way outnumbered. He's got like seven or eight ghouls. Normally this would work out perfectly. He would he would easily be able to fight this game. But because of the Wand of Lightning, which I'm just giving my Key for the Grove now, cast it. Oh, and the Wand of Lightning! He wants to get that Keeper of the Grove. Demon Hunter gets slept. Oh, he has the portal, but he realises the power of Wand of Lightning there, and that actually worked out extremely well for me. He lost three ghouls, and I forced him to portal. Uh, those little mini early encounters really do stack up. And I think I mentioned this in the forums. So we've had one already early on at the top, the shops where he chased me around and we've had a second one there so now both back to creeping, he's creeping the mercenary account, he's creeping the shop One of the illusion, terrible item. And as you can see, I'm going all dryads. All dryads here, I'm going to get a lot of dryads. I haven't upgraded the Tree of Eternity like that first game, that just did not work out well at all. So I'm going to try and get a much bigger army in the early to mid game. Kind of scouting for him, looking for him, see what's cleared. I can see he's cleared that expansion. I have no idea where he is. I don't have enough units to creep any kind of heavy creeps, so I'm just kind of screwing around the little, little knolls uh, rather than do nothing at all. So now I've now actually got the drivers up to 1 0 in attack, now upgrading the level 2. And as you can see, it baits creeping expansions. So I'm now going to the shop, probably buy a healing potion and all that we're going to meet here. There's another huge mini battle coming up. So retreating those drives which will get targeted. Dreadlord is slept, I don't know if I've got to abolish, abolish magic. Casted Wand of Lightning on the Demon Hunter. Can I make ring as best I can to keep the Grove, keep it out of range. Casting Entangle. He's focus firing now in the Demon Hunter. Big mistake. He's now trying to do as much damage as he can. Trying to get the Demon Hunter within range of his ghouls here. Managed to kill his Dreadlord. And now he's losing all those ghouls to the Wand of Lightning, which does 20 damage per second. Which is kind of like level 4 immolation, I guess you could say. Oh, the Keeper of the Grove. Does he get it? Oh, a portal to keep the Grove away. I've kind of been a lot but uh, lucky there. 